So that was our first introduction to Deep Throat, who kind of serves as this guiding light to Snake throughout the game. And his name, <laughs> feel free to make whatever sexual joke here that you want. Um, he warns a lot about like things that, well basically things that nobody else could possibly know. And he does take a lot of measures to make sure you don't know who he is until pretty much the very end of the game, where his identity is revealed. Um, that call specifically is actually optional. He does call several more times in the game, a lot of those calls are compulsory, so whichever way you play the game, you are going to get a little bit of deep throat in the end, no matter what you do. And he is correct, there are mines now on the ground, which is pretty lucky because we just happened to pick up a mine detector. I'm pretty sure these mines actually rearrange uh, each time you have to go through this area, which is why you can't really memorize the locations of them. This first set is pretty easy to get around, you can just go around the right and bypass the mines entirely, but later on I think they're in much harder configurations. Anyway, what else did Deep Throat warn us about? something. One of the reasons I was actually stalling on this was because of this boss fight, because I thought it was going to be really difficult. It was really stupid because it's actually a pretty easy boss fight. I had trouble with it at first because I, well, I forgot the method of killing it, and because my first instinct when confronted with a tank is not to run towards it, but you do have to get closer to it to take it out. The first thing you should know is that the tank won't shoot until you're within range, at which point it probably will shoot you. So it's a good idea to throw a chaff grenade first, and then the tank won't be able to shoot missiles at you. The genome soldier who's operating it will still be able to shoot a machine gun at you, but that's much easier to avoid than the missiles. Well, after you know that, it's pretty easy to dodge it. Once you're close enough, it won't be able to shoot missiles in the first place, so you can just run around the tank to avoid the machine gun. Now you need to know how to take it out, which sounds simple in practice, the only thing you have to do is throw grenades at it. And there are a lot of grenades around to replenish your stock of them, However, you can't just throw them at the tank, they have to go on top of the tank where the soldier is, otherwise it won't do anything. And that can be harder than it sounds, because when you're that close it's likely to run you over, and you have to stand still when you throw it, and when you stand still you can get shot, and when you get shot, then you drop the grenade. So, there are a lot of little annoyances to this boss fight, but in reality it actually is pretty easy. Got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. 
you would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. You see? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Metal Cure also has an amazing parody of that that I won't quote here, but after this let's play everyone needs to go and check that out. Just saying. So, um, Alright, we have now defeated our second boss, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the, um, I think, Nuclear Warhead Storage Building 1. Um, we picked up a level 3 card, which I think is the first time we've gotten a card without someone actually explicitly giving it to us. Um, we've also got a longer health bar, and I think we can hold more rations, which is always good. There aren't any guards here, and there aren't even any lasers like in the other one, until we crawl under here, this wall, to the main area. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. So, in this room, we can't uh, use weapons. We are forbidden by the nanomachines that Dr. Naomi Hunter has implanted us with from the very beginning of the game. It's kind of scary that someone would have that much control over you, but I'm sure that won't become a plot point later on in the game. Spoiler alert. Anyway, so we can't use weapons, but the fact that the enemies are surrounded with dangerous chemicals doesn't stop them from using weapons. So if we get caught and they shoot at us, then dangerous chemicals naturally get released and no matter what we do, we pretty much die because, well, the air is full of poison. So in this room, you just can't get caught is, the, is really the thing. Where is this guy? Hmm, he's coming back this way. I'm gonna run away. I'm going to hide again, actually. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna crawl across here, because the guards don't check up and down here. I guess they assume they'll be able to hear people. Yeah, I don't have much knowledge in the field of highly advanced genome soldier psychology. I do like psychology, though. Well, like normal people. I like people people and 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 their brains and now it sounds like I'm a zombie so I, I'm just gonna stop talking before I dig myself into a bigger hole <laughs> anyway let's just see uh, the elevator doesn't take too long this time oh uh, no it was pretty fast good 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 so we're going to basement floor two yeah the elevators identical by the way naturally Alright, so this is where we're supposed to... Ooh, noises. Alright, now in here... Um, what is this kind of door? I know we can get into it. It's a level 3 door, naturally. Alright, let's go in. Oh, what's that?
snake. Watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. <laughs> 